Oh man, guys, if there is one thing that I love more than a rectangle, it's a regular pentagon. <laughs> now, what I'm uh, wondering if you can figure out today is if you could figure out how to take a rectangular piece of paper like this, you want a long strip, and I think the, the longer the strip, the easier this might be to do. How do you take a long rectangle like this and turn it in to a regular pentagon. And again, I'm using regular pentagon. Hey, math vocabulary lesson if you need it. Pentagon, five-sided polygon, regular meaning all si sides are the same length and all the angles are congruent. Okay, right, but it's what you think of when you think of a pentagon, okay? That's what we wanna make. We wanna make it using this rectangular strip of paper. But how do we do that? Well, that's my challenge for you. And you can pause the video here, get yourself a strip of paper. You could do that using scissors. Uh, cut yourself a strip off of a piece of paper, but here's the challenge. You may not use the scissors on this piece of paper. Once you have your rectangular strip, you do not get to cut it. You do not get to do anything other than fold it. You may fold this and that is it. We are not cutting it. We're not gluing it back together. There's none of that. You are just folding it, and you are making this turn into this. But how? Again, pause the video, play around with it, do the best you can, and if you give up, unpause the video for the answer, or if you do get an answer, then unpause the video and see if you figured it out the same way I did. Okay, don't spoil it, try it yourself first. Now, here's the solution. I'll do the best I can to get a shot out of this. Here's how I would describe it. So. I'm thinking about this as like tying a knot in a string. So I'm gonna take these ends and pull them back together, get like a gap between them, and then I, I've got these like crossed over like this, right? And there's, there's this hole. I'm gonna pull one of these through the hole as if I was tying a knot, like starting to tie my shoes or something, okay? And as I do that, you'll start to notice, oops, do it one more time for you, try to get a good shot of it. If I get my eyes out of the picture, it might focus on the paper better. My camera auto focuses on my eyes. All right, um, so we're making that loop, we're pulling this through. And as you do that, it, it'll want to just kind of turn into a big messy knot. But if, if you don't let it, if you're careful, you'll start to see an angle forming at the top there, right? You'll start to see an angle forming there. And we want to line up the paper so that this these ends fit through nicely. They're gonna come through these gaps. You wanna line it up so where they fit nicely, okay? And to where you can start to actually get this to fold down flat instead of turning into a big messy knot, okay? And that's what I'm getting here. Once I've got this nice point here, this nice point here, that's where I'm gonna start to actually fold down the creases nice and flat, okay? And then, I'm going to fold down the creases on my other ends. You'll notice that it's almost a pentagon. We just got these little extra bits here. Well, let's just fold those down out of the way, e e either side, front or back. So I'm just gonna fold this little extra bit of paper that stuck through the knot, right? That's the piece that stuck through the end of the knot. Got that folded down, and there's one more little extra bit of paper here uh, that once again, I can fold down out of the way. And once I've done that, what do we have here? This is a pentagon, a regular pentagon. But wait, is it really a regular pentagon? If you are mathematically minded and you want a little bit more of a challenge than just how do you do this, can you prove that this is a regular pentagon? Meaning, without just like measuring it, because obviously you probably didn't really do the folds perfectly, I didn't either, but could you argue based on the folds that you did that this has to be a regular pentagon, that these lengths have to be equal? I'm gonna be honest, I have thought about that a little bit and I'm not quite sure I can fully explain it yet, although I did notice when I unroll this that I get some uh, what look like to be congruent trapezoids here. And I'm wondering if there's some way to argue that. And honestly, if you got some ideas on that, throw them down in the comment section, we can talk about it. I'm interested in a proof of that. All right, hopefully this was a fun one, and I hope you have an excellent day.